Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. So today, um, I actually have made a little bit of gold farming golems yesterday. Um, what I'm going to do today is I wanted to gem up a few monsters, mainly my fire succubus. I'm planning on using her for for a few things. Um, I'm going to be building her hybrid. I need her to be a little bit tanky and also be able to do some damage. The good thing is she has some really really nice stats. Her her uh, stat distribution is quite nice. Her recovery is low. Um, she has pretty high attack for a 4 star attacker and uh, a pretty high amount of HP you know, for, for an attacker. So this is definitely, definitely pretty nice. Um, the reason why I wanted her to build her is she's one of the only monsters that I have with an, with an HP lead. There's actually something else that I wanted to do. Um, I, I wanted to do a summon, um, but actually I'll, I'll probably upgrade those, those gem first. Because the week just reset, so I got, I got a light dark egg from the capture league yesterday, so... You know, there, there might be a chance that I get something nice from that. Uh, the gem set I'm planning to use is Intuition, because I, I want her to have... Um, close to 100% crit rate, or if possible, push 100% crit rate. Thinking of either using defense or um, or this HP gem that has 7% crit rate, because this this can actually give me some more crit. But I I only have one attack gem. She's on a triple square slot, so it's kind of it's a little bit hard to gem her. But it should be fine. I'll I'll just upgrade this. Now, I would be super lucky to get a crit rate. Like, if I get a crit rate on this, it would be... It would be the god roll. Or I got a resist, which is actually not that bad. I'm not really planning on using her for PvP, but, um... Resist is still nice. Like, having a little bit of resist is definitely not that bad. So, the ideal roll for this gem, I would say, is, um... For it to all go, to, go into resist. Just for the gem itself. But for the... For this, like, the... the the, the scenario right now where I'm tr trying to gem up my uh, fire succubus, I would say defense or HP flat would be still be pretty good. Defense flat doesn't really oh nice 14%. Defense flat doesn't really give that much um, extra defense, but HP flat like flat HP is actually quite a lot if you take into the like percentage that it gives. It's not as as much as percent, but um. On some like really really squishy monsters, it's actually pretty good. Like monsters that only have like 20k health. Probably anything you evil three would have over 20k. So, so uh, yeah. There, there's really no reason to use like flat as a main stat. Come on, give me give me some more resist. Make this a godly gem. Make this some sick 30% resist gem or some shit like that. This might just work. You never know. Alright, it went to it went to resist again. That's 20% resist already. I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty lucky today. I, I feel like I feel like I can get some crit pretty crazy shit. Come on, just give me one, one more like 7% resist roll. Make it like 27%. That'd actually be pretty sick, you know? Because honestly, I'll, I really only need to push like 40% if I, if I plan on using my Water Nightmare lead. Because I can get another 23% from that. And it maxes out at like 80. Oh no, oh no, I need like 60. My math is bad. If I plan on using it for PvP. Resist lead is honestly really good for PvP. Mainly because um, you don't have to gem like monsters a certain way. Because a lot of people that use like don't use resist leads, uh, they have to gem their monster with either, you know, some, some, uh, like, extra, 
Like, basically, they have to aim for resist on all their substats. But I think the most ideal way to to build a PvP team would be to use HP lead, because it, it just further increases the maximum amount of, like, HP that a monster can have. Um, and it's possible to push, like, 80% resist if you have, like, really, really godly gems. Like this one. Come on, give me that. Give me that sweet four times resist roll. All right, I went to recovery, which isn't too bad. Um, I mean, yeah, it's 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 not too bad. Now the other the other gem that I I uh, I really needed to go into crit rate is this one. Um, now this gem it has seven percent, which is a pretty pretty high roll. Um, to get a hundred percent crit rate on a normal monster that isn't light, so you need like ninety percent extra crit rate, plus fifty four from a six star gem. Oh, nice! I got attack, which would be around. Wait, let me let me. Uh, my math is bad. Sixty four from a, wait sixty four. No, no, you only get fifty fifty four as it. Yeah, you get sixty four. So you need, basically you need 30, 30, uh, 36 percent crit rate to have a hundred percent. This is a little bit hard because I only have two tries for it to go into crit rate. And you get 20 percent from intuition, so you need 14 percent crit. On your substats. Oh no, you need 16% on your substats to push 100%. Yes. Okay, went to defense, which isn't, which is not bad. It's definitely not bad. Um, but I, I really wanted to go into crit rate. Come on, you can do it. It's my, it's my last chance. I really don't want to steal a gem from my Dark Victoria because I think she ha she has a square gem. No, wait. I think it's a diamond. It's not a square. Yeah, this is the only square um, square gem I can use. It'll it'll still be fine if I don't have a hundred percent crit, but it would definitely be ideal. Come on, give me the the best roll. All right, twenty percent defense. This is actually a really good gem. Uh. Now, now, now let's let's take a look at this one. Let's see what uh, what substats this this gem can give me. Now, I'm hoping for some crit damage, crit rate. You know, I bought this from a shop because it was really really cheap because it's a no substat gem, and it happened to be an oh nice attack. It happened to be an intuition uh, crit rate gem, so I just decided to pick it up. I think it's a really good buy because you you pretty much uh, like if you want to build crit on a lot of monsters, you do want like you want to use the intuition set. Um, crit rate gems are, are definitely really really good. It's a six star one, so it has like really really high crit rate, and it had no substat. So oh nice, I got the I got the best roll as possible. 6% attack, 7% crit damage. Now, um, I think rolling defense and resist would be the best in this case. But anything would be nice at this point because it's already it's a no substat gem, so it can't the attack and crit damage can't get any higher, anyways. So it can, it'll like if it gives me like two really shitty bonus stats. It'll pretty much just be like I got a gem that has like two substats and two 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 substats and all the rolls went into the shitty stats or something like that. Oh man, is this is this the god roll? Now I just need now I just need defense. And this and then this gem would be like it would have all the best rolls it can possibly have.
All right, I went to recovery. It, it, it slacked off in the end. Um, but honestly, though, this gem has taught me something. It has taught me that... Um, it, it has taught me a philosophical lesson. It, it doesn't matter where you start off in life. As long as you... Um, as long as you 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 work hard, you can you can you can still come out better than than others who are smarter than you. That that's what I learned. All right, I don't need this gem. I'm gonna unlock it and I'm, and I'm gonna I'm gonna destroy it. I should probably lock most of my gems. All right. Um, I guess I'll plus plus uh plus fifteen this in my own time. And if I do plus fifteen this, I think you get fifty four right from a from a gem. So I'll get thirteen more extra crit rate. So current right now I have seventy eight. Um, it'll push it to to around 90 wait what I have 78 and then it'll give me 13 more yeah it'll give me 13 more so I'm 91 I'm 91 by the uh, by the time I power this up to plus 15 I mean it's pretty good um, it's probably a lot better than me using three random gems because I'm not guaranteed to get really really high crit rate even if I do do that um, I can't put together a Valor set I could use some of, some of these like other random you know vitality sets um, but then I would need really really good rolls for for it to amount to anything I mean it does have potential I could possibly get higher crit than I have now but I I think this is pretty good it's not it's not that bad um, Should definitely be usable. Um, should like 90, 91. Wait, 92. Yeah, 92 percent crit should be pretty reliable. I think. I mean, she's not gonna need to have to sustain herself every single turn, right? It's just it would fuck up sometimes when she, at a really really crucial moment where she needs it, like 100 percent needs it, but can't can't get the heal. Okay, so uh, there's three things I wanted to do today. Uh, one is, yeah, that, that, was, that was the first. The other two is I wanted to summon my Light Dark Egg. Um, and I actually do have a few summons because the, the arena just reset. Not, not this summon. Um, for my League Medals. So I can definitely do these. And, you know, hopefully they come out, they, they, something, something good comes out of this. I kind of regret feeding away my Medusas, like my other Medusas. I, I regret using them for Rebirth for the monkey. Oh, I got a Neza again. All right, I fed her away a long time ago during the Thor, Thor event. I used her for Rebirth. Oh, I got another Lightning. Okay, okay, I got another Cura. That's pretty damn good. Yeah, I was, I was trying to get some Medusas, because I was thinking, um... Just, I should start collecting water ones. I need to start collecting water ones. Uh, the, I, I, I kind of wanted to build a Dark Medusa, that, that was why. I was trying to save up some Medusas. I currently have her at Evo 2, and I only have like one extra Medusa. So, I will need, um... 11 more in order to make her evil 3. It's not that bad. I mean after maybe after like two more months of playing I should be able to collect 11 Medusas. I know I say that but I you know I've been collecting Julys since the beginning of time ever since the July um, rebirth ended I've been collecting them and I still don't have enough. I mean I got like one here I put like three in storage. Oh wait I have four in storage and that's all I have. So, I'm not too confident that I'll get I'll be able to get 11 Medusas in two months. 
Um, you know, that's, that's definitely not the end of the world. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to summon is just, I only have one light dark egg, one normal egg. Wait, why do I have this stupid low egg? But you know, my light dark luck is usually pretty good. But I, I'm currently on a... I currently used up... Oh nice, I got another July. Just as I was talking about getting Julys. Um, you know, I, I kind of used up all my light dark luck. Summoning that dark Indra. So I'm not sure I can get lightning again. Colt, please, Colt! Oh my god, it's a stupid Cosmo. Damn, I hate getting Cosmos. Uh, the other thing I wanted to do is I want to. I can finally summon this Cupid, and um, you know I, I find that summoning you know from 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 these Soul Stones actually has a higher chance to get variants. So if I'm like really really lucky, I might actually be able to get a variant Cupid, and that would be that would be better than summoning summoning like any any super good you know Nat Four light dark monster if I can get a variant cupid nope not happening all right it's it's perfectly fine um, you know soul stones are super hard to collect like I think I've been collecting that cupid ever since the beginning of time like ever since I started playing and <laughs> these are all I got so you know this is actually a little bit hard but um, I did manage to get a variant Cura yesterday, and I, I did get a, get a second Cura, so I, um, I'm actually planning on getting my Dark Cura to Evo 3 very soon, and um, I'm planning to use my other Curas to do that. So I, I might actually use some Gleams, that's why I've, I've been collecting Gleams, because I, I was planning on uh, using like these Curas to, to get her to Evo 3. So now that I finally have three Kuros, I can, I should be able to do it in about five weeks. All right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, that's pretty much it for for summoning. I'm not sure I can do some any arena battles. I mean, I get, I guess I could do a few, you know, just for the hell of it. Just do one or two, you know, just to play around. This is double wood. I don't know if you guys still want to continue seeing this comp. I mean, this comp's pretty disgusting. It's, it's really, really OP. Damn it, I just need that variant Cupid. If I can get a variant Cupid, I win in life. Okay, I probably should have silenced the Sea Star. I think this one's an evil three. Okay, that Venus is so squishy, I should have just killed her. Yeah, she is so dead. Should I should I keep her alive for one more turn and stun stun someone else? I think I could do that. Yeah, I'll keep her alive for one more turn. I'll seal her. I think I feel like she has low resist. Alright, her resist is actually pretty high. Pretty high. Fuck it, we're killing the sea star next. All right, this should kill her. Okay, it's a Gatito. I shouldn't have done that. Shit, I should have just killed the sea star. I should have straight out killed him. Oh shit, he's gonna kill someone. Okay, they all went for my nightmare, which is actually pretty good. So you know what that means. Why can't I heal? Alright, this should kill the sea star. Should definitely kill the sea star. And um Guess we'll stun her so she can't heal. Let's try to put armor break on this guy. Alright, this is so GG. Yeah, Cupid is ridiculous. Like his his damage is so so high and he's like tanky and he has a shield and he has he's dark. I don't know, wait, his him being dark doesn't really matter. Actually it does because he's a healer, so he has like 10% more resist. So he has high resist. He has like all I need is him as a variant, then he's he's perfect. Then he would have like an OP leader lead skill as well.
Damn, my rank's dropping. Alright, I, I guess this is the only guy kind of worth it on the list to fight. His Leo's not evil 3, um, but he does have a Granitus. I guess that's pretty good. I should actually try setting this this current team up as, as my defense. And then hide like one more monster. I don't know what I should hide. I'm mostly dark, but I, I have high resist as dark monsters. Do I kill this light Victoria? Or seal her? If I seal her, she basically does no damage. Alright, then let's uh, let's kill this Leo. Uh, actually, maybe I should keep him alive for one more turn. I'll stun the Persephone if I can. Or try to stun her so she can't heal. I'll kill the Leo with my Cupid next turn. Come on, crit. Alright, it spawned a Sura that's only evil one, so he's gonna have to die. And uh, seal her so she can't heal. Okay, this is GG. <laughs> mm, he has pretty low resist. Alright, this should be able to kill her if I do the combo damage. Sometimes I feel like I, I want my water nightmare to do a little bit of damage. Like, want her to have like a little bit of crit rate. You know, a bit of attack. But her, her base attack is pretty low, so it, it, it doesn't really work that well. Let's see if I can armor break him and smash his face with my Thor. Alright, that was satisfying. That was real satisfying. Alright guys, um, that's pretty much it. There's really no one on this list. Kind of really worth fighting anymore. Um, but I'll... I'll, uh, I'll be back to... You know, to after I make some, after I farm some more, um, I'll be back to to build some more monsters. You know, upgrade more gems and stuff after I make make some gold back. Cause I'm kind of broke right now. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.